Hello everybody, welcome to Cap Vu. I'm going to do an unboxing of the Gigabyte G34WQC today. It's Gigabyte's first 34 inch curve monitor, finally released in the US. I uh, got it off Newegg for $3.99. Alright, let's get this open and let's take a look inside. You guys will get a, a feel for exactly what's in this box. Boom. Go ahead and pull it out. It's actually very light. Impressively light. this aside obviously you have your manual display ports look like there's an HDMI cable the power cables here's the stand base pretty large There we have it. As you guys can see, all the cables, the monitor, here's the base. Excuse the room, it's still in progress. We are uh, building out a studio here, so I do have uh, some of my other hardwares and stuff that I'll go through and describe in the future videos. All right, let's take a look at this. So, it does have a stand built in already, the arm. Again, extremely light. Feels very solid. But you screw in. Tighten that up. Nice. Fold that over. And let's give it a look at how it looks when we stand up. All right. Put a piece of foam. Secure it in. Piece of tape that held that in. There's a warning label here. I'll go ahead and leave that for now. All right, I have this placed on my desk, but I want to go over some of the the specs and the ports on the back. So, as you can see, it's pretty curve, pretty pretty uh, big curvature to it. I'll show you from a bird's eye angle. You got the gigabyte name on it. And just to kind of see, compare it to a, my NXT case over there. From the back. Okay, from the back, you can see that there's a uh, protective film on the top part of the back of the monitor. Show you guys some of the ports here. There's the HDMI, two of them, a DP1 and a DP2, and a headphone jack on the bottom side. Stand looks pretty solid. You know, if I'm shaking my table. There's very little wiggle. Uh, so show you guys here some of the accessories it came with came it comes with three different power cables 
uh, for other regions here. Uh, looks like a European cable. I'm not sure which this one is, and then we have a USA one. So I'll be using this. It also came with a display cable, display port cable, and an HDMI cable here, and some paperwork. So um, I already used the display port. I hooked it up. I'm gonna I'll power it on here. Set up here. And it's interesting, when I power it for the first time, there is a, a little light here that shines down in the back. Looks like there's a um, little LED underneath here that shines a light down uh, right underneath the power button in the back. The back has a little joggle stick here. And then you kind of hold that, press that down to turn it on. Get a look. My wallpaper. I did have a 27 inch before. Huge, huge screen. Definitely nice deep blacks. It looks excellent. It looks great. I'll probably have to kind of do some color correction later on um, and kind of test that. But, you know, being the first round of testing out this monitor is not too bad. It's a great monitor for its price. Hundred forty four hertz, uh, twenty one by nine. It's got speakers and fifteen hundred curvature rating. So here's my desktop and my other video that you saw of my setup. I kind of go through that if you guys are curious about it some more. The parts, there's another video that I got at the bottom. There's watching a Mr. Beast video, testing it out in full screen mode off YouTube. Looks excellent. Um, yeah, it looks just looks great. Colors look great. Picture looks great. Um, you do get the black borders on, on these videos like this. So let's find a, uh, you know, a widescreen movie and, and I'll play that up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, here we have um, Dota 2. Uh, just doing a quick demo of this to see how the game looks. Immediately you can see the graphics here on the right hand side. It looks amazing. Uh, you know, no trails. Even for a VA panel, it looks great. Uh, I come from a TN panel, but you know, switching over to this looks looks amazing. Uh, we'll go ahead and just quick uh, pick pick a quick hero. And we'll play a demo and see how it looks here. As you see, looks fantastic. Again, they're moving quick. Up here, we'll see. You can see there's really no trails. I know this isn't a really fast paced game like a first person shooter game, but you know. You can see in the settings, we are running at full ratio, 144 hertz. So, pretty good. All right, let me switch out the game and we'll see if we can play another demo with something else, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Here, I loaded up Quake. Take a look at it and see how it plays. Looks great. No ghosting, no trails, no screen tears. Looks fantastic for a VA panel. Now see no complications. Now overall for this monitor, for the Gigabyte G34W uh, QC, I think it's a great buy uh, for $400. G-Sync, 144 hertz, 
uh, great all rounder coming from a TN panel. Uh, I would say the VA looks very comparable. I know it's not an IPS, but the contrast is much higher than a TN panel. Uh, if you were a competitive, competitive gamer and playing, you know, Fortnite or something at the one top 1%, yeah, you definitely will want a TN panel. But, you know, as a casual gamer playing games and kind of working from a, a home, then this would be great as a dual monitor system or as uh, just, just here and there video games that you're going to play here now and then. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely overall highly recommend this.